Hi, my name is Veda and welcome to my YouTube channel. I share tips and tricks as I go through my own journey and today I'm gonna talk about the PAT. Make sure you're gonna like, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're gonna be notified when I upload videos. There is no rule that says you have to start with keyholes and you have to start with number one. As a matter of fact, keyholes for me was the last section that I did on the DAT. I started with angle ranking and question number 31, then I went down to 90, then I, then I, then I went back ahead and I started from question 15 to, to 30, and at the end, I did the keyholes. For me, keyholes was definitely the hardest section to do on the DAT, and the angle ranking, which is started from 31, which for me was the easiest one. Now, you definitely don't have to do what I did. You can start with hole punching, you can start with whatever section that you feel most comfortable with, uh, but that's something that you should keep in mind. One of the major points for DAT is the time. You have 90 questions and 60 minutes of time. If you do the math, you just, you simply don't have enough time to go through all the questions. And you shouldn't expect yourself to allocate enough time for every single question, and that's absolutely okay. So number one, accept that fact, and that's gonna make your life uh, much easier. One of the big points is, yes, improve as much as you can, but at the end of the day, there are sections that you're inherently not good at. And accept it, this is your weakness. Uh, for me, I can remember uh, there were, for the angle ranking, there at the angle, when the angles were more than 90 degrees, there were, for example, 110 degrees. I, I just couldn't do it. There, there's no way in hell I could differentiate between 110 and 113 degrees. It, it, it didn't matter how many practice tests that I did. It, it just, I couldn't, I, couldn't, I couldn't do it. So for you, improve as much as you can, but the, uh, 10 days or a week before your test, you will know which part you're not good at. During your test, f flag them, put, I don't know, put a mark around them, like do whatever you do, but choose something and move on. As, as I told you, there are 90 questions and 60 minutes of time. You simply do not have enough time. You cannot allocate enough time to every question and accept that as, as a reality and you're gonna do well, trust me. And probably the most important tip that I can give you is a start with the answers. This is true all across the board for all the sections. In your PAT, again, you don't have enough time and you don't have enough time to go through all the questions. I start with the answer and do the question smartly. Now, angle ranking. I start with the I start with the answers and see what options we have. Most of the time, you have a, a two by two format. Basically means you're given, like for example, one and three as the options for the smallest one, most of the left, and the, uh, and the biggest one, like for example, two and four. Do many practice tests before showing up uh, for your actual exam and see which one you're most comfortable with differentiating. Like for example, are you, for, for me, it was way easier to differentiate uh, between uh, the smallest one. And for example, for the biggest one, not so much, but it could be different for some questions. For some, for some angles, for example, they're, they're like more than nine degrees. Um, it was easier for me to, to start with a big one. Now, what's the, what's the advantage of that? Or basically, if you know for a fact that, for example, one is smaller than three, you can just cross out the, the two options and you have 50% chance if you choose something and you move on. That is the, uh, that is the advantage. Again, for your PAT, you shouldn't strive for uh, knowing for like a thousand percent fact that a, a, an, an option is correct. Just choose something that really makes sense to you and move on. And that is the added benefit of that. Another point is know your weaknesses. Again, I told you, for me, am, angles around like 110, I couldn't do it. There's like no way I could differentiate between 110 and 114. Um, it could be a different angle for you. It could be the smallest one, it could be the biggest one. Find it out. If you saw similar questions on your test, mark it, but choose something and mark it and then move on so you have enough time for those questions that you can, you, you have a higher chance of, of, of answering them. So for the hole punching, again, you, you, you should start with the answers. And uh, usually the last fold, that's, that's the one that, that, that gives it away. So for example, do you see a diagonal uh, kind of a pattern? Do you see like a, like a left or right or like up and down? And that is something that you should keep in mind. The, the last one usually has the most effect uh, that you're gonna see on that question. And again, that's just one uh, tip. You should, you should definitely, you should try to go through the questions. But if you're short on time, definitely the last fold, that's the one that gives it away. Uh, cube counting. Uh, this one you definitely have to do uh, your own practice uh, to find out what's the method that works for you. Uh, 
like for there are different methods. I'm just gonna give you uh, I'm just gonna give you some example. For instance, uh, there is a method that tells you you should count all the cubes on the on the ground on the ground floor on like on the on level one, and you're gonna count all of them, and then you're gonna move to uh, to the uh, to the second level and the third level, and just go higher up. And level four and level five, that's probably. At the end of it, um, you know that's a method. I think it was uh, advised by uh, DAT Bootcamp. It kind of didn't work out for me. Um, what tended to work out for me was I kind of broke down the whole cubes into like sections, and then I count them. Uh, you know, like for example, we have cube here, cube here, cube here, and they're connected. I kind of like broke them down like in my head, and I count like how many cubes are here. I jot down the number, and how many cubes are here, how many cubes are here. You know, that, that's, uh, that's an unorthodox method, but it worked out for me, and you should do your own practice uh, to find out what works for you. Pattern folding. Uh, so for this one, you definitely have to start with the answers. Uh, sometimes there are, so, there, there are signs in, in the answer. For example, you have a triangle in the, in the answer number C, but there are absolutely no triangles in the question, you know, that tells you the, the, the choice C is definitely wrong. So start with those and find the obvious uh, flaws uh, in the answers. You're gonna be left with uh, two, uh, two probably two uh, answers, and then after you're down to those uh, two answers, then try to uh, fold these structures in your brain. Why? Because folding these structures in your brain that's very time-consuming, and also you could be wrong. There have been so many times that I was wrong uh, when I was trying to fold the structures uh, in my brain. That's you know that is the best advice I can give you on that. Now keyholes and top front ends. Uh, these two sh uh, sections were definitely the hardest one uh, for me on the dead, and uh, I left them to the end. Now, keyhole was a bit easier on the actual DAT compared to the DAT bootcamp, and top front end uh, was actually uh, it was actually way harder uh, on, on my actual test. I don't know. It could be it could be a toss up. It could be a random thing, or it could be I don't know. It could be a, it could be a pattern in the uh, in the actual tests compared to the DAT bootcamp. Uh, so the advice I would give you is. Keep practicing for these two, but if they are your weakest sections and weakest part, just leave them to the end. So you make sure you have gone through question 31 to 90, those easiest one, angle ranking, pattern folding, that you know if you spend time on it, you're gonna get the answer. This is, I, I, I don't think DAT Bootcamp gives you this advice. This is my own very uh, biased personal advice. This is something that worked out for me. And I just want to share this. And let me know if you have any questions in the comment box. I'll be more than happy to help you. And good luck, uh, good luck with your DAT.